Here we're going to look at another confidence interval problem. In this case, we're looking at the difference of two means. Remember that in confidence interval problems, we first calculate by taking a sample to find an, a point estimate for the particular uh, thing that we're measuring. In this case, it's going to be the difference of two means, but in general, I'm just going to call it x for right now. So the, this x is going to be the difference of the two means, and we're calculating that by uh, taking some samples. Next, we'll calculate a critical value by looking at either a t distribution or a z distribution. We'll use a t distribution in this case because we're going to need to use the, the standard error, the, the standard deviation of samples instead of the population standard deviations. So we center the percentage of confidence uh, and the distribution. Then out in these tails, these two tails right here, are going to have a total of 1 minus that confidence. So that 1 minus the confidence will have to be divided into to fill up this tail and that other tail. So we will use R to help us find this critical value right here. That's uh, how many standard deviations we need to be above the mean. We will then calculate the margin of error, which is going to be the number of standard deviations above the mean that we need to be times our best estimate for the standard deviation, which in this case is going to be the standard error of, uh, of the distribution. Then, this upper bound is going to just simply be the, the point estimate plus the margin of error, and this lower bound is going to be this point estimate minus the margin of error. So let's do that for our particular problem. First, let's tell R the information that we know. So we know that the sample size of R from the one population is 20. The mean for that sample is 2.34 and the, and the standard error, the standard deviation of the sample, is 0 0.73. Similarly, similarly, for the second sample, we know the sample size, we know the mean, and we know the, the standard error, or the, uh, the standard deviation for that sample. Finally, the last piece of information that's given in the problem is that we want to work on a 98% confidence interval. We're looking to find an estimate for the difference in the means, so our point estimate is going to be the difference in the sample means. So I'm going to call that XD. Now we're going to need a best estimate for the standard deviation of that, uh, of that parameter, the difference of the means. And so there's where we have to look up some theory. The standard error, the standard uh, deviation for this sample, uh, for the difference of those means, is going to be the square root of, of S1 squared divided by N1 plus S2 squared divided by N2. We had to know that from somewhere else. Some, some theory has to always give us that uh, information about the standard deviation. Now, the rest of it's easy. We can use R to find that uh, critical value. Remember, it's going to be a negative QT of that uh, particular area, and the degree of freedom in this case is going to be 2 because there are two, uh, one less than the sum of the, the ends. And it's going to be 2 less than the sum of the ends because, uh, because we've got two samples. Then we can calculate the margin of error, and then we need to report what this, uh, this sample statistic is, plus or minus that margin of error. So let's highlight this and run the information. So highlight the script and run the code. So there's our negative 0 0.28. They wanted us to round to two decimal places. Um, so this will be uh, 0 0.55 for the, for the margin of error. So we'll take that minus that margin of error for the lower bound and the point estimate plus the 0 0.5 for the upper bound. 